My name's Peter Collins. I'm an experimental test pilot, an ex-military fast jet pilot, and an instructor pilot. Let me be your host to introduce you to the Grob Aircraft Company and the all-new revolutionary Grob 120TP trainer. Please, come with me. The story starts in 1971. Since those days, Grob has grown to be one of the few European manufacturers that can design, test, manufacture and certify a complete carbon fibre aircraft along with its engine, its avionics and all its support systems. And to do so here at its own production facility at Tussenhausen, along with its own airfield and its own clear airspace for testing. Grob revolutionised the making of complete carbon fibre airframes by using what's called the wet carbon fibre technique. In this, carbon fibre sheets are mixed with resin at atmospheric pressure and at room temperature to make the carbon fibre shape. The advantages of carbon fibre are of course its lightweight, its exceptional strength and rigidity, its smooth aerodynamic surfaces which are free of rivets, and on the maintainability side, the fact it has no corrosion, and the fact that field repairs can be made without problem. Grob Engineering Excellence has not just been confined to gliders and small trainer aircraft. They have in the past produced the Egret and the Stratus aircraft, both high-flying, long-range and large aircraft made completely from carbon fibre. The Egret aircraft holds a world record for a propeller-driven aeroplane, having climbed to and sustained level flight at over 53,000 feet. The aim of Grob Aircraft is to design, develop and manufacture a range of 21st century trainer types to meet the training needs of 21st century air forces worldwide. But that trainer aircraft must now become a system within a system of systems type approach. This training concept will include advanced avionics both on board and off board the aircraft and electronic displays for both the student and the instructor in the aircraft, which will allow embedded simulation to grant the aircraft a level of training potential that is far in excess of any training fleet presently used within any other Air Force. So, having talked a little bit about the company and giving you an introduction, let me take you now and show you the real aircraft. So here is the revolutionary Grob 120TP. The aircraft builds on the considerable success of the Grob 120A in that it has similar dimensions, a similar wing, a similar rear fuselage and undercarriage, and this massive bubble canopy with side-by-side -side seating for the instructor and the student, but allowing for virtually unimpeded field of view from the side, virtually 360 degrees through to the tail and above. Also clearly evident is the carbon fibre construction of this aircraft throughout, endowing it with very, very smooth aerodynamic surfaces, allied to its new engine, which is one of the key critical elements of the success of this new aircraft in terms of its performance. So forward of the wing is where the Grob 120TP becomes a completely new aircraft. It now has an entirely digital cockpit with a four screen display an individual hands-on throttle and stick for the, both the control column and the power lever for both the student and instructor sitting side by side. It has a new turboprop engine delivering nearly 500 shaft horsepower and a new five-bladed short-span propeller which delivers the thrust to the aircraft in a very linear and jet-like way. All this means that the aircraft is endowed with a level of performance that is far in excess of the 120A and because of this the aircraft has undergone a completely new certification program. It gained its European EASA CS23 certification in early 2013 and is now on track to gain its American FAR23 certification in early 2015. For this game-changing aircraft, Grob are pleased to have as their major commercial partners Rolls-Royce for the turboprop engine and Genesis Aerospace, formerly known as Cobham, for the all-new digital cockpit. These partners 
will allow the Grob 120TP to deliver a level of sophistication and performance never seen before in this class of aircraft, especially at the low level of cost of acquisition and operation. But let me talk you through these upgrades in more detail, starting with the engine. The new engine is a Rolls-Royce turboprop, designated a 250B17F. It's a turboprop engine that's widely used by helicopters, and as such, Rolls-Royce will be able to support this engine worldwide. Another advantage is, is that the engine uses standard jet fuel. It delivers 460 shaft horsepower at its maximum power rating, and 380 shaft horsepower at its maximum continuous rating. This endows the aircraft with a service ceiling of 25,000 feet, a maximum indicated airspeed of nearly 240 knots, and in typical conditions at max continuous power, sustains 220 knots at low level. But the secret of success of any engine is how it delivers that thrust to the aircraft itself. And for that, we move to the new propeller. The new propeller, produced by MT, features a short span, five bladed configuration which each of the blades produce from carbon composite. The engine propeller combination delivers its thrust in a completely jet-like way, and the aircraft features jet-like performance throughout its envelope. Having talked about the engine and propeller combination, how that gives it jet performance, let me lead you back to the cockpit and the digital revolution that's occurred there to make this aircraft so sophisticated and so ready for the 21st century. In any trainer aircraft with a side-by-side -side seating arrangement, field of view across cockpit, rearwards, above and forward, is critical. And Grob have answered this requirement in three separate ways. Firstly, this massive bubble canopy allows unimpeded vision to the rear, above and forwards, aided by a single canopy arch giving a 360-degree hemispherical field of view. Secondly, Grob have kept the top of the glare shield completely free of extra instrumentation, giving unobstructed field of view over the nose so critical during takeoff and landing. And finally, Grob have redesigned the side profile of the console, giving unimpeded vision downwards so essential during ground attack and low-level navigation phases. The central power lever of the Grob 120 TP will feature detents, markings and gates for flight idle and ground idle, protected by a power lever trigger. With the power lever at the fully forward detent, the aircraft will generate in excess of 3,000 feet per minute rate of climb. Back at the max continuous power rating, the rates of climb and angle of climb are moderated, and this is important for a student in the elementary and basic stages of training. It will also be completely adequate for all visual circuits and instrument approaches. Computer-based training aids will allow any student to plan and prepare complex missions, brief himself or herself or other formation members, and then track and debrief the mission after flight. All this will be done by using a standard memory flash card, which will be loaded into the aircraft prior to the mission and will then set the parameters for that flight. This system of systems training concept will equate to a sea change in any Air Force's thinking of what it wants its training organization to deliver. The Grob 120TP now features a totally digital cockpit with four digital screens placed side by side, each measuring six by eight inches, and each able to be split into two to show two different sorts of information sets on the same screen at the same time. Of the four screens, the outer two screens are nominated as the pilot flying display, or PFD, and the inner two screens are nominated as the multifunction flight display, or MFD. Flight information will always be presented on the top part of the two PFDs, but that will leave six individual further screens for information. That information will include things like 
HSI and compass, moving map with terrain, fuel and engine, radio and navigation, FMS and navlog, and airborne traffic avoidance. In the future, Grob are planning that two of the four screens will be nominated as mission screens, loaded with embedded simulation and able to show such things as air-to-air -air radar, defensive aids and ground threats such as guns or missiles. Together with individual power levers and configurable digital screens, the Grob 120TP is now unique as a trainer not with side-by-side -side seating, but a trainer for the first time with side-by-side -side cockpits. The advantage of a side-by-side -side cockpit is the simplicity and efficiency of instructor demonstration and the fact that the instructor does not have to go cross-cockpit to complete the training objective. It should always be remembered that most modern aircraft, helicopters, transports or bombers, feature multiple crew and side-by-side -side seating in exactly the same way as the Grob 120TP replicates. A student pilot now in the 21st century using the Grob 120TP will see the same digital cockpit on his first day of training in exactly the same way as he will see it on the frontline operational aircraft he will fly on his squadron. The Grob 120TP will be configured to cover the greatest breadth of training events that will fully replicate the widest range of modern aircraft types, be they helicopter, transport, or fast jet. This breadth of training will be delivered at the highest levels of modern sophistication, allied to an aeroplane with very high performance, and yet with the lowest cost of acquisition and the lowest cost of operation of any aeroplane in its class, and indeed any of its closest competitors. The Grob 120TP is set to become a new sort of flight, attack and systems trainer or fast aircraft type that for the first time can realistically span the presently defined phases of grading, elementary, basic, advanced and tactical lead-in training. This system of systems training concept will allow any military training organisation the ability to assess and to stream students at the very earliest opportunity and then to monitor their progress and to tailor their training specifically for the aircraft types for which they've been selected, be that helicopter, transport or fast jet. Throughout training, from a student's very first day to his last day of graduation, tactical awareness will be added to every sortie that a student flies. And critically, that tactical awareness will be embedded within the Grob 120TP. In this way, the Grob 120TP can realistically now replace two, three or even four current trainer types that a present Air Force operates. And in doing so, grant an Air Force massive cost savings while still delivering 21st century training at state-of-the-art levels. The proof of potential that the Grob 120TP and its System of Systems training concept represents as a new sort of 21st century pilot training program is shown by the firm orders from the Air Forces of Indonesia, Argentina and Mexico and from intense interest in the aircraft and the training concept from other Air Forces worldwide. I'm here with Mr. Andre Hebler, Chief Sales Officer of Grob Aircraft. Andre can expand on some of the considerable commercial advantages that the Grob 120TP has over its closest competitors. So Andre, over to you. Thanks Peter. The G120TP is Grob Aircraft's answer for today's and tomorrow's military training. Global budget cuts, geopolitical changes, an increase in higher volumes of transport pilots and rotary pilots, a massive increase in system and information management skills for fighter pilots. All this is reflected in the innovative system of the G120TP. The G120TP replaces one, two, possibly three platforms into a single platform, reducing transition cost, reducing wrong learning, 
while increasing the quality of training. Together with Grobe Aircraft's additional training tools, such as simulator, computer-based training, part-test trainer, and the turnkey solutions we can offer, makes Grobe Aircraft the solution for you today and tomorrow. Thank you very much. So I hope you can see that Grob Aircraft have gone far beyond the idea of just a new trainer. The Grob 120TP will be a system within a system of systems training concept that will deliver training standards, instructional potential, with aircraft performance and acquisition costs that are set to revolutionise the military training marketplace. We believe that the Grob 120TP will render all of its closest competitors obsolete overnight. Grob have no doubt that the Grob 120TP will become the 21st century military trainer of choice for air forces around the world. Thank you for your attention and thank you for listening to my short presentation. Thank you.